ladies and gentlemen, this is an article that came out in the Washington Post magazine. And I told y'all in prior videos, Trump would not be impeached. He's not getting impeached. You know, yeah, I think they're going to continuously find dirt on Trump, but they're not going to impeach him. They're not. You know, and as far as you boule people out there talking about we need to get Trump out of office, why? Why? Presidents don't do anything for the black community. We know this. It's a standing history that we can look to to prove it. Presidents get in office. They don't form their lips to say black community. They don't do anything for us. But you think there should be a changing of a guard for one that don't do nothing for us, for another that won't do anything for us? Look, nobody is afraid of somebody like Donald Trump. We've been around people like him our whole lives. We know these idiots are out here. And we've been dealing with them forever now. So all of you talk about, it's crazy for you to even say Trump should stay in office. What difference does it make for the black community? What big thing did did, uh, Barack Obama do for the black community? How about George W. Bush? Bill Clinton? George uh, Bush won? Ronald Reagan? I mean, come on, get real. These presidents don't do nothing for us. I don't care how reckless Trump is. So what? So what, we never had reckless presidents before? (laughs) Andrew Jackson, George W. Bush, (laughs) uh, Richard Nixon. I mean, come on, we had reckless presidents before. He's not the first and won't be the last. So... When you make these arguments, they're hollow to the black community. It's hollow because there is no standing record, even for the past 25 years of a president stepping up to the plate and doing something big for the black community. It's not there. So we don't need a changing of the guard. If we're going to have another one in there, that's not going to do anything for black people. These, these Democrats that are running barely want to say black community. And no, we don't have to understand that. We have now a demand. A demand that should have been taken care of a long time ago. So all of you first generation and second generation people from the island, You're not even part of ADOS. Mind your damn business. This doesn't impact you. This impacts us. You may face racism, but whoever enslaved the islands that your parents were for, you know, from, you go see that country. But ADOS, that's for us. So if you come from Haiti or Jamaica, Puerto Rico, Cuban, go to those people that conquered you for your reparations. Or if you're not interested in it, then don't get it. But apparently we are interested in it and we want it. So there is no need to change the guard if you're still going to end up with nothing. This country can give reparations if they really want to. They give it to everyone else. You seem to come up with trillions of dollars when it comes down to your military and everything else. But then when we say something, all of a sudden you're broke and don't have nothing. We're not falling for that stuff. The usual talking points are no longer working and y'all don't know what to do. And see, you bully people, you bully whatever. You ain't doing nothing but helping white supremacy. You, you, you need to just step your ass out of the way and stay out of this fight. It's not for you. So Nancy Pelosi is saying impeaching Trump is just not worth it. And I'm not surprised. 
like I said, they're they're not going to get rid of Trump, y'all. They're not getting rid of Trump. Trump is going to serve his term as president, regardless to what comes out about him. He's going to remain in office and serve his time as president. And if no one has a deal in this country for reparations, he'll probably be serving a second term. Plain and simple. We, we know Trump is reckless. I don't care. I don't care. Let him stay in office. If, if, if he could get a third term, let him have it. I'd rather see him in there than you Democrats that won't have a, a standing history of not even saying black community, but you can say immigration. Okay, but you can't say black community. Get out of here. You know, and all of you have proven yourselves to not have plans. Even the ones that come forward, ladies and gentlemen, and say they're for reparations, but they're saying this with no plan. So don't jump up and down over Castro and Williamson and what they're saying. They're mouthing the words, but they don't have any written plan. So don't fall for that. None of these candidates have any real plan that's going to change the condition of the black community. And what does that tell you? That tells you they are content with you being at the bottom and having nothing and struggling and dealing with mass incarceration and all kinds of economic problems that we did not create for ourselves. But they're satisfied with you staying on the bottom so they can benefit off of your misery. Well, somebody got to be at the bottom. Well, maybe that somebody should be you since you feel that way. Maybe it should be you. So I'm not surprised. You know, and she's just talking about she never thought Trump would be elected. You know, it's just the usual stuff. And um, I, I don't see what the big deal is about this article. You know, I heard um, a few people talk about this. We know about the infighting over the wall, and Trump is still fighting for that wall. He still is. So... And what Trump will do when it comes time for him to campaign again, he's just going to go on the trail and put this all, the wall situation, all on the Democrats and blah, blah, blah. And he tried to get the wall and that's what's going to happen. You know, you can say he's unfit to be president, but he's still president. He's still president. And plus, you have an overwhelmingly um, Republican Senate. Even if Congress passed an imp uh, impeachment, by the time it gets to the Senate, it will be quashed. Those senators are not going to impeach Trump. I mean, you really got to think about the whole thing. So Democrats... It's the devil you know. We already know what to expect from Trump. But it's no point in putting another do-nothing Democrat in the office. And if you want to be mad at anybody, you should be mad at all of the prior presidents over the last few decades. Let's not reach back 50 and 60 years, you know, what about the recent presidents? We live in the here and now. What have they done? Democrats don't do anything for the black community. And I mean, it's the truth. Y'all don't even fight for us. You're even scared to go up to the mic and say black because 
you fear what your white constituents will say, which tells you right there, it's very obvious the Democratic Party is racist. It's a racist party. It's just another, you just display it in a different way, but it is the same racism, plain and simple. If we are not worth talking about, you are not worth voting for, period. We want changes. We're tired of living as part of a legacy in this country that has never been resolved. We're sick of it. So if you are not going to put up a candidate that's going to put themselves on the line to make these necessary changes that we want, then you may not see a Democratic candidate win the presidency for years to come. Because no matter how much you want to avoid reparations, one thing you can't do, Democrats, you can't win shit without the Black vote. Period. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.